Good afternoon, good morning or good evening wherever you're from. Kev from KLT, welcome back to the channel and today I'm doing a tour review of the FLIR uh, TG267 thermal imaging camera. Um, please like, subscribe, um, share the channel uh, and let's, uh, let's go get into it. So the FLIR TG267 is um, above entry level uh, thermal imaging camera which I bought a little while ago so I thought I'd do a quick review on it and, and show you what I've used it for and how it comes in handy for everyday uh, working environments as an electrician. Um, I do mainly domestic work so I guess it will come in handy on the commercial and, and industrial side as well but I've used this for all sorts of um, all sorts of things within um, you know at work uh, from diagnosing problems to seeing breakers that are overheating or cables that are exceptionally hot compared to others which I'll show you an example of soon um, and it's coming very handy so just very quickly um, yeah as I say this is an above entry level uh, film engine camera um, which I thought would be handy so I purchased it um, obviously this is the camera comes in this nice soft case uh, and I'll go through the camera functions and stuff fairly shortly but you get instruction manuals and then you get a cable which I'm not sure what the cable's for um, that's a charging cable, um, a little strap to go around your arm, and a carry cable to go over your shoulder, which, as you can see, I haven't used those because I haven't needed to. So in terms of battery life for this camera, uh, film engine camera, I've used some time now and it's not flashed up saying it needs to be charged, so it would appear the battery life's pretty good. However, it's not something that you use um, you know, loads on a daily basis. You probably get out once or twice to have a look at an installation, a fuse board, or whatever, and then you put it away again. So, as I say, it comes in this nice, um, nice little soft case, which has got straps on the side for the carry case or the carry straps. You can carry it over your shoulder or whatever. I tend to keep this in the safe within my van um, or somewhere a little bit more secure, so that it doesn't get stolen. Um, or it doesn't get knocked around either because you've got to be quite careful with them. So, so yeah, um, just take it out of the soft case. Quite nice ergonomic grip. Um, it's got a trigger there, which is I'll show you what that is for soon. Um, but yeah, overall, it's quite a nice sort of sized um, thermal imaging camera. Not too big, not too bulky, and it's quite easy just to point around and stuff. So um, yeah, it is a nice, nice bit of kit feels really well built it's got a nice rubbery feel to it um, which sort of makes it quite nice to grip hold of so um, yeah overall it's quite a nice um, nice bit of kit nice feeling um, and looks quite nice as well so if I bring you in a bit closer you'll see there's various different buttons there's an on button uh, there's a star button there's a back button these are up and down um, sort of buttons to use on the menu so if you hold the power button in it comes on and it takes a few seconds just to start up there we go right it started up so as you can see on the screen it's pointing towards that and that's 26.3 or, or fluctuating up and down the temperature of that so if we then point the thermal imaging camera further out you can see outside the door um, there's different colors so the brighter the color the obviously hotter the, the surface um, so if we point it towards that over there which is a tumble dryer see the surface is about 24 25 degrees so yeah so if we uh, scroll through um, the menu here so you press the center button you've got all different types of settings you've got gallery you've got camera adjustments so you can adjust the, the camera um, different colors so the mode in which you want it or the colors so you can have it as iron or you can scroll down and go to rainbow you can do white coal, white hot, sorry. So anything that's hot is white. And then anything that's, and go down to black hot, and that's black, and so on. So you've got lots of different options there. I always keep it on iron because that's the, the one I like most. And the dark colours are cold, the, the light colours are hot. So as I say, I've used this for various different things, including fault finding and stuff like that. It's quite handy. You press this button here, and you've got a laser, which is there. Uh, which is quite handy to, for finding your target, what you want to point it at. And then this trigger here, if you press that trigger, it takes a picture. So you'll see it takes a picture. So then you can go into your gallery and see that picture you've just taken. 
which is that picture there so you can see um, which are all fully downloadable via Bluetooth to your phone or any other tablet device or iPhone etc etc so as I say I've used this um, this camera for uh, a few different things uh, one of which um, was a fault diagnosis a couple of week, couple of weeks ago uh, whereby when I turned um, when I shown that shone this on the fuse board I noticed that one circuit and one wire in particular is very hot it turns out when I um, I was doing the ICR at this particular address when I inspected that address it in, in that circuit sorry it turns out that the um, the immersion heater was set to 80 degrees so the immersion was just churning churning away heating up heating up and the load on the cable on that particular circuit was showing up as you know as extra hot because of the amount of load that was going through that conductor so I'll just show you that picture now Um, and you'll see that that cable going down to that one fused it was a 3036 fuse you'll see that the fuse is sort of slightly hotter than the rest and the cable in particular sticks out like a sore from so yeah you'll see um, that it's good for diagnosis and I knew there was potentially quite a high load on that circuit and I, I tracked it down and found out why so then I turned the immersion down um, so yeah another another way that I've used this um, was um, I was chasing in some f uh, f some floor boxes for some cables into a concrete floor and there was central heating pipes which were uh, buried in the floor so I um, used this got the central heating put on used this to then track where the pipes were and it just so happens if you see this image now that the uh, pipes were um, running across where I wanted to chase. So I knew that I had to go across them, so I didn't use the wall chaser, I just used hammer and bolster in that occasion and, and managed to avoid the pipes. Whereas if I hadn't known them there and I'd run a wall chaser, say 25 mil through the floor, I could have quite easily gone through the pipe. So. Yeah, this is coming very useful for fault diagnosis and other things like that. When lifting floorboards, for example, you can use it to see if there's pipes underneath the floorboards. So you know when you're running your circular saw along the tunnel and groove joint that you're not going to be hitting any pipes. Um, so yeah, things like that I find it really handy for. Um, I mean, it's not the cheapest. I think it was about 450 I think it was from Amazon. So 450 500 pounds. So it's not cheap, but in terms of... Um, thermal engine cameras and the quality you get etc etc it, it is good value for money whereas some of the um for i think it's e5 e6 etc etc you're looking at a thousand pound onwards so yeah it's not bad value for money for what it does and i find it quite useful so yeah that's the quick review of the fleur tg267 um i hope that you found it useful um yeah I, i've certainly found this product very useful uh, in my everyday um, you know work I don't get me wrong I don't use it every every day but when I do use it it's worth its weight in gold so um, yeah so thanks for coming having a quick look at this review and stuff like that and I hope it's helped you make a decision on you know if you are looking at thermal engine cameras and stuff like that you can see the quality that it produces is, is pretty good um, and for the money in terms of you know some thermal engine cameras it, it's pretty good value for money so um, yeah, excuse the environment. This isn't a workshop. This is my garage and I've just thought I'd try and do a little review in the garage to make it a little bit more different. Um, so yeah, excuse all the bikes and stuff hanging up, but um, I haven't got enough money like the other YouTube boys to have my own unit and film in there and have a podcast section, etc, etc. So, but it is what it is. So yeah, thank you very much for watching the video. Um, like, subscribe, share, etc. Helps build the support for the channel. Um, and helps channels grow so yeah thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again soon take care